The Hiller X-18 was an experimental cargo transport aircraft designed to test tilt-wing and vertical, short takeoff and landing technology. Development began in 1955 by Stanley Hiller Jr. and Hiller Aircraft Corporation, which received a contract and funding from the United States Air Force to build the Seoul X-18, serialized 573078. To expedite construction and save costs, the X-18 was built using scavenged parts, including a Chase YC-122C Avatruck fuselage and turboprops from the Lockheed XFV-1 and Convair XFY-1 Pogo experimental fighter programs. The aircraft featured tri-bladed contra-rotating propellers spanning 16 feet and a Westinghouse turbojet engine with exhaust diverted upwards and downwards for pitch control at low speeds. Hiller nicknamed the X-18 the Propelloplane for public relations. Preliminary testing occurred at Moffett Field Naval Air Station, California. The first flight, HOP, was on November 20, 1959, followed by the first real flight on November 24, 1959, with Hiller test pilots George Bright and Bruce Jones. Further test flights were held at Edwards Air Force Base, totaling 20 flights. The X-18 faced issues such as susceptibility to wind gusts when the wing rotated and lack of engine cross-linking, which meant a single-engine failure could cause a crash. Thrust control through throttle changes was too slow for acceptable height and roll control. On the 20th and final flight in July 1961, the X-18 experienced a propeller pitch control problem at 10,000 feet while attempting to convert to a hover, entering a spin. The crew regained control and landed, but the X-18 never flew again. Ground testing of tilt-wing concepts continued, and a vertical takeoff and landing test stand was built. One engine run was successfully conducted, but the program was canceled on January 18, 1964, before further testing. The X-18 was scrapped. The program proved the necessity of cross-shafting between engines to avoid loss of control in case of engine failure and direct propeller pitch control for precise height and lateral control during vertical takeoff and landing and hover. This knowledge aided the development of the Tri-Service XC-142A tilt-wing vertical and short takeoff and landing transport. The Hiller X-18, despite never achieving vertical takeoff or landing, provided valuable data for future American vertical and short takeoff and landing aircraft development.